All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable unneeded startup items so we can increase our boot time. So Windows is going to start up and we're going to be able to use it uh, a lot quicker. Um, when, you, uh, when you first install Windows, whether it be Windows 7, 8, 10, whatnot, um, it starts up pretty quickly. Um, with the new installations but as we install applications it's going to slow down over time um, so here's how to keep the um, the initial fast boot up time so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to right click on our taskbar and go to task manager uh, once task manager opens up there is a tab up here called startup so the, the startup tab here, um, it shows you a list of applications that run every time you launch uh, Windows. So on the, on the left hand side you'll see the name of the applications here that have started up with Windows um, without you having to open up any additional programs. Um, you have the, uh, the manufacturer of those programs, so uh, who creates it, you know, Intel, uh, Bitdefender for fire scanner and firewalls. Um, we have the, the status, so enabled is it's starting up with Windows, uh, disabled is we're going to have them manually start it. So it's not starting with Windows. And then uh, to, the, to the right here we have the, uh, the startup impact. So anything with a high rating is slowing down your startup. So it has to, it's taking a longer time to load. Um, initially before you can you know open up your web browser or, or run your applications that you want to run when you turn on your computer so uh, anything in the high is what you'd be wanting to look at uh, for disabling now if you're asking what's safe to uh, to disable and uh, and what's not uh, safe um, you can pretty much uh, you can disable all of them uh, Windows is still going to run however um, it's best to leave your security applications uh, enabled on startup. So for my case, it'd be a, a Bitdefender agent here and uh, and the wallet agent. So uh, it's always good to have your security going. So uh, another thing is is to pick and choose uh, programs that that may not affect you so much. Um, if you're a big user of cloud storage, um, disabling Dropbox might not be favorable for for your application to uh, for startups so for instance uh, as you can see here we have uh, in the bottom right hand corner we have Dropbox that uh, has started up uh, you can see here we have Steam that has started with Windows and everything like that um, I don't necessarily play games every time I uh, turn on my computer so I can disable Steam to help me uh, increase my boot times um, as you can see, we can't really see the impact it has on the system right now. It says it's uh, it's not measured. So to disable Steam, we can click on it, and then down here in the bottom right hand corner, we can click disabled. Uh, same thing with Dropbox. We can actually just right click on it and say disabled. We can go through a few of our uh, our programs. Uh, QuickBooks for one of the businesses that I own. Uh, I can disable that so it's not starting up uh, right away. Uh, I don't need my uh, my Canon network scanner. So take some time, go through here. Like I said, you can disable everything. Uh, you know, Windows is still going to boot. Uh, anything that you disable, you're going to have to manually start uh, later on. So if I want to use Steam, I'm going to have to click the start button. I'm going to have to find it. You know, through. Uh, through my applications here to start it instead of just clicking easily right here so uh, that's about it disable the more that you disable the less that you have starting up the quicker your your boots gonna be all right well if you find this video uh, informative and helpful uh, hit the like button there and subscribe for the next one coming thank you